I will, I will show everyone. The rapture, the rapture is coming. It's going to take, it's going to take the good decks. It's going to take the good decks. ABC, Ojama, all the good decks that our Lord intended us to play. The Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes White Dragon decks, and they're going to be a reward for us. And everyone else that play Emancipators, <laughs> and 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 uh, and Eldritch. And everyone else who plays meta is going to burn. It's going to pay for these mistakes. <laughs> it's coming. I can feel it. It's coming. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to From the Egg to White Teeth. I'm back baby, yes! And this time, it's another discussion type video, I think so. And it is my wish list and my actual predictions for Orval list. It's the time of the year again, when all Yu-Gi-Oh players are refreshing constantly. Yu-Gi-Oh-Card.com-UK-Gameplay-Detail.PHP question mark ID equals 11.55 also known as the Baldly page, of course. And we want to see changes, of course. As you remember, our last Baldly was a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit deception. Here we have it. Of course, we have all Altergeist Multifaker or Necros of Unicorn and the Rizzle Beast Ulticana Hawk, which were the last three things that went on band and nothing else was touched. Not a single thing was addressed. But, you know my opinion on this, of course. This is because, well, we are not competitively playing right now. So, we cannot have any competitive uh, results or official results for that matter. And so, if you only play YGO Pro and PPG and LCS, um, those results don't matter, of course. What is going to happen on the next list? That's a good question. Well, it depends. If it's going to be the last time, like the last one, we only have some unlimited things and some things that move from 1 to 2, maybe. The first card, of course, will be Sky Striker Mecha with a Anchor. With um, Engage Band, of course. The Widow Anchor can come back freely, I think, as a three-off. Of course, we have some problem cards coming, like Dragoon and all this stuff that cannot be targeted. And so this card maybe lose a little bit of value, but we'll see about that. Again, Sky Striker is a popular deck, of course. After two years, it's still very popular. But, I mean, it's fine, it's fine. We can still work with that, of course. Thinking about future product, thinking about things that are going to come, um, you know, um, Rise of the Dulgeous release, and we have the next set coming, Phantom Rage. And in Phantom Rage, we had Phantom Knight support, as well as support for other stuff. But the most important card that we can think about moving on is Phantom Knights of Rusty Bordish. Now, I know this is a little bit hard, but be because of Rusty Bordish giving just two negations for free. This is a pretty good card, a Link 3 that is pretty good, pretty solid. But, uh, thinking about how Konami works and how Konami understands the game, maybe, just maybe, moving this to one is what's going to happen, I don't know. Because you want to push Phantom Rage cells, of course. Who doesn't want to buy Phantom Rage and get all the copies of your Ray Raptor cards that are also treated Phantom Knights cards? So yeah. Rusty Bardish, um, not telling it's coming back, of course, but if it is, it's going to be a one-off. And sincerely, that just may be the full list, probably. Just those two changes, the Rusty Bardish and the Widow Anchor. I don't think Konami is going to do anything else, because we have not seen a lot of competitive play, and I don't think they want to base their movements and all just because the remote invitational is going to happen. What my wish list is, now that's an important question and a totally different video. 
that I'm going to do here because I can and because I want to. My wish list starts with these two cards. Sir Malebranche of the Burning Abyssi and Graf Malebranche of the Burning Abyss. These two cards, in my opinion, can come back to two at least. And at two copies each, it's going to be basically the same. I mean, Burning Abyss is good, not gonna lie. And you're going to see my opinion on Dogmatica Burning Abyss that's been popping off recently. And I sincerely like that deck, but um, putting that away, um, it's not that big of a change in the deck, in my opinion. I mean, not gonna be wrong. Milling Graph for Sir is good at some stages of the game, but it is still also a little bit of Lucky Reliant. And of course, it can be banished by Call by the Grave, and can be negated and everything else. So yeah, I think those two can come back to two, probably, maybe, hopefully, Konami, please. And they are not going to do any damage. Another one that should come back is Dino Reserve Aggretops, maybe. You know why this should come back to two at least? That's because we have a lot of trap decks basically. You know these all the guys and the sub terror and these uh, Eldix and everything else that just sets a lot of cards. Well, Pancratops is a good card, of course. I mean, we have seen Pancratops in every Dino list because they can summon it for free and they can search it. But for the rest of us mortals, we cannot do that. So. We are limited to just one, and that maybe should change because I mean they have a lot of traps that they can resolve, and we just have so little, so little things to deal with those things. A fan favorite, Phantasm of the Monarchs. Um, this is a little bit harder because I don't play Monarchs enough. I used to, but now I don't. So maybe, just maybe, this could come back to two, probably. I mean, it's good card, of course, Vanta is draw too, because if you can, the, of course, that's really good. But, um, it's not going to make Monarchs top tier 1, I mean, Monarchs is still a very bricky deck, so. I think Patismin of the Monarchs should come back too, probably, and see how that works as well. And finally, just to end with the wish list, I have just one thing that I think should be fine just to work with either heavy storm or happy feather duster one of these two to one really isn't that big of a deal as you may think of course you mean you ca you have those lightning storm and still buy Edco please I mean it's good thing Edco just released that thing I, I think it's Edco I don't remember but uh, it's not good enough for me. I mean, I want more than just three copies of a $50 card, maybe, that can deal with backrope decks. And you had your Cosmic Cyclones and Twin Twisters and everything. So maybe just to think that one of those two can come back and just, um, you know, deal with some spells and traps, that's not, um, not far away from imagination. But that's still a wish, and so it goes to the wish list. So, my final, um, just to close this video, what it's going to happen is Widow Anchor to 3 and probably Rusty Bardish to 1. And what I want to happen is Graph to 2, Sir to 2, and as well, probably Dino Wars and Panka Drops to 2, Harpies Feather Duster or Heavy Storm to 1. And the other card that I mentioned was, of course, and one of the monarchs for all of those monarch players. But leave me on the comments what you think is going to happen and what you wish is going to happen. I love reading your suggestions. As long as they have nothing to do with making Alter Guys top 0 tire 997 deck. I love reading your opinions and I love that you please check out everyone in the description because they are amazing, great content creators. And I appreciate all of those guys. So please give it a look. Also, all of my social media is in the description as well. And um, please check out everything because everyone 
puts a great work on these things. And I know this is free content, but it's still some content that you have to work for because you have to analyze and to blah, 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 blah. But in any ways, thank you very much for watching and we see on the next one. Adiós.